Hello and welcome to the podcast on Hox Genes. Today we're going to explore the intricacies of what make up these very important genes. Now believe it or not, when you were very small, I'm not talking about two years old or one year old, I'm talking about ball of cells small. You had to have some genes in there to help to organize that ball of cells into who you became as a kid and now as an adult. And the genes that helped to control that are known as the Hox genes. So that ball of cells had to have some genes in it that said, okay, hey, you over there, go make a finger. Hey, you over there, go make an eye. You go over there, go make a piece of hair. And put it in the right place, by the way. So the Hox genes helped to organize where things went. Limbs, fingers, ooh, ears, your heart. All those things, Hox genes helped to control. So they're actually quite amazing. And what else is quite amazing is that we can see the Hox genes within different organisms. We can see some of the same and some that are a little bit different. So we see Hox genes in fruit flies. We see Hox genes that are present in mice. Those are two of the most studied organisms. And we see some of the same Hox genes within humans, mice, and in fruit flies. And they can help to code for different reasons. But it's pretty obvious that even those are the same genes, are they coding and making the same actual uh, end result? Well, yes and no. So for example, you might have a hawk shooting a fly that helps to make one of their limbs, one of their little legs. Well, do their legs look like ours? No. But are they legs? Yeah, they are. So the fact that we can see some of the same genes that are helping to code for things, but yet they change in terms of what they are producing. Hmm. What does that tell us? Same genes producing something different, those genes might change over time. Evolution! Yes! So Hox genes are a very uh, good example of evolution because we can see them and they're something that we can track back for millions of years and we can see how they progress, how they change, how they mutated ooh, into what they have become. So the fact that we see some of the same genes in different species and we see that over time those genes have changed and been modified to produce different structures that helps us know that evolution has taken place. So Hox genes are one of the most important insights that we have into evolution and a piece of evidence that we have that it has in fact taken place.